Now coming to this last question, we are given a function f which is defined on 0 to 1 to r and it is a continuous function which is differentiable on 0 to 1. Now prove that either f is a linear function or there exists t in the interval 0 to 1 such that f1 minus f0 is less than f dash t. So let us draw the axis. Now this function, it is defined between 0 and 1. Now without loss of generality, let us assume f0 is less than or equal to f1. So let us say this is f0 and this point is f1. Now we join these two points using a straight line and say this line is L. Since it is a continuous function, so one of the possibility is it could be this straight line which passes through these two points 0 F0 which is this say this point A and this other point B which is 1 comma F1 and we can always draw this straight line L and we can also write equation of this straight line will be y minus f0 equals f1 minus f0 upon 1 minus 0 into x minus 0 which is y equals f1 minus f0 x plus f0 which is a linear function. linear function of the form y equals a x plus b. So it could be either a straight line from a to b which is a linear function or it could be any other function and if it is any other function then let us say there is some point c on this curve and I am not drawing this entire curve I am just drawing a part of it and I could have drawn it either upwards or downwards it does not matter. So there is this point C lying between 0 and 1 and suppose whose x coordinate is C and y coordinate is FC. So this point C, its coordinates are C comma FC. Now if we join A with C and B with C then we have two slopes here. Slopes of AC and slopes of BC. Now one of these slopes it is less than L and the other slope it will be greater than L. So that means slope of this line L will always lie between slope of AC and slope of BC. Now in this case slope of AC is less than slope of L and slope of BC is greater than slope of L. So we can write slope of L it is less than slope of BC. Now slope of this line it is y2 minus y1 so it will be this f1 minus f0 upon 1 minus 0. So we can write slope of BC it will be greater than slope of this line which is f1 minus f0. Now slope of BC it is average slope between B and C. So using Lagrange's mean value theorem in this interval between C and 1, we can say there exists a T in the interval C to 1 and, and which again lies between 0 to 1 such that F dash T is equal to slope of BC and slope of BC is greater than F1 minus F0. So from here we can say there exists a point T in the interval 0 to 1 such that F dash T is greater than F1 minus F0. Now, now here we have taken this interval between C and 1 because we have taken this point C below the line L. 
if we would have taken this point C above this line L, then we would have taken this interval from 0 to C. And this F1 minus F0, we are assuming F1 is greater than F0. And from here, we can clearly write mod of F dash T is greater than mod of F1 minus F0. And we are taking this mod sign because we have assumed F1 is greater than F0. If you want, you can take the two cases separately. Then F1 is greater than F0. And second case where F1 is less than F0. Whichever way, you'll get the same result. And this is how we solve such questions.